Hi guys, it's Summers here, creator of the National League mod for FIFA 20. Now, I have noticed that there's a number of people that are coming to use the mod that might not be from the modding community. So I've decided to put this little tutorial in place in order that you guys that maybe aren't au fait with what to do to get this mod installed have a better understanding of how to actually get that done relatively quickly. So first things first, you need to head to the Google Drive folder that I've put the link to in the description box down below. That will give you several files. One will be the how-to guide. Now that obviously can be used to back up this video and give you an explainer as how to do what I'm going to explain to you now in a format that might be easier to follow. Next up, you're gonna have a squad file, a local.ini file, and the National League mod itself. On top of that, you're going to need Frosty Mod Manager, which I'll leave a link in the description down below to, and you'll need to install that ready for once you've got all of these things here in the right places. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna deal with is the squad file, which is squads 202.00.11.11.84.34.4, and in brackets stable. Uh, that is a squad file. It's something that you use in order that the players, the teams, etc. are in the right places when you load your game in FIFA. So what I'm going to need you to do is navigate to Documents, FIFA 20 and Settings. Now that is where you should have your FIFA 20 Settings folder installed. Obviously some people might have it in different places, but if you've gone to a custom install, then I'm pretty sure you're going to know how to do this sort of thing anyway. But for everybody else, this is where you will need to copy the squads file and paste it into this settings folder. Now next up we have the local.ini file and you don't have to actually do this step. It's just an additional tier uh, to try to change the graphical settings when you are playing the game. Due to the fact that I have overwritten the Argentinian league, there's a graphical filter in that league that changes the way that the game looks when you're playing it at certain times in the day. The changes I've made to the local.ini file will overwrite those and it will make it look more like you are playing in the UK at the specific times you're playing. Okay, so now you've gone off, you've installed Frosty Mod Manager, you've got all the things done that I've already explained to you and now you want to deal with the mod itself. So you go to import mods and obviously I've got several mods here that I'm working my way through, but the one that you're really looking for here will be named National League Mod. Now, that will be wherever you've decided to pop it. Obviously, it could be in the Downloads folder, uh, which is where it will probably automatically be to, to begin with, uh, but you can obviously move it and then reload it from here. So, National League Mod is where we're going. You will see here that it's loaded up into the left-hand box. You've got a description on your right hand side here for the version and for the people who really want to know how much has gone into this mod the affected file list here is massive and those are all the files that have had to be changed in order to make this work there's obviously many others that have been adjusted by myself to make a better experience but that will give you a pretty good idea as to how much work i've put in behind the scenes to get this thing going What's critical at this point is, is that you click the apply mods here. That will then put it in the applied mod section on the right hand side of the frosty mod manager panel. From here, you then just want to click launch. This will take a few seconds, but I'll come back to you once it's all loaded up. One quick thing I do just want to mention here because this has caught out somebody who was playing from France. The language files that I've amended in the game can only be used in English. If you're playing in any other language, you won't get the things like the team's names, etc. loading up as they should do. Okay, so we can see that the mod's working because we've got the right splash screen. Okay, so the next important thing is, is that we need to load the squad file that we've put in the settings folder. So if we click across to customize, go to profile, load squads, you'll see a list of squad files that are available to me here. Now ignore all of the ones that are on the list here because obviously I'm always working with different squad files, not only for myself but for other people. Uh, trying to get the best out of FIFA. So the first one here is the National League that we are looking to load. So if I just click on that one, we'll now exit back to the main screen, go to play, new career, 
Now, you must select Use Current Squads. If you download the latest, you're just going to overwrite the squad file that we just loaded. Manager Career. See, I'm not going to edit the manager at this stage because it makes no difference to me. And here is the big one. League 2, National League. So, as we scroll through these, you'll see that all the teams have got varying budgets, club worths, I've even included things like the dates that they were uh, established, what city they're from. And uh, yeah, we just go through, I'm going to select Notts County for this version. And obviously we don't want dollars, we want sterling. All of the stadium names have been changed uh, for the National League. I haven't gone through and added all of the stadium names for all of the teams above in the other leagues. That's something that you can go off and do if you really want to. Okay, so we're into the pre-season tournament and you can already see that we've got other National League teams within the tournament here on the left hand side with us. So we'll go into that one just for now. Here's the calendar and you can see that we will not actually face off against any of the National League teams in that opening phase of the pre-season tournament. Let's just simulate ahead. So let's have a look through the calendar so I can just show you that obviously the National League is all in place. varying fixtures that you'll play throughout the course of the season and then if we just head back to the screen here we can take a look at the standings and we'll see that obviously all of the teams are there from the national league now there are things that i can't replicate at this stage i have attempted to put playoffs in but the other problem that you've got is is the way that the national league do their playoff system is very different to anything that's already pre-programmed into fifa itself so it would need to be a custom playoff scenario i've spent probably 15 to 20 hours trying to make that work and just can't get it to work the way that it should do so what i have done is i've made it so the top two teams will be promoted from the national league to league two so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go off and simulate the first season so you can see how everything will work come promotion and relegation. Okay, so my manager rating is probably in the toilet right now, only having finished fourth, but we did get 90 points. Uh, Sutton and Woking will go up and let's have a look who will be coming down into the National League to replace them. Okay, so it's Grimsby and Macclesfield who've got uh, relegated down to the National League. I'm going to head out, get into the next season and just show you how that will look. Right, okay, so we've made our way out to the second season in the National League here. And as we go through, we will see who has been relegated into the National League. Grimsby being the first and Macclesfield Town there in 17th the next. So as you can see, that has worked. And then Sutton and Woking. So there we have it guys, I really do hope you enjoy my National League mod. I'll leave a link in the description down below for the Discord channel in case you want to get involved. Obviously there's a lot of things that we could get better in the mod, but obviously time is a problem in certain aspects. You know, kits for argument's sake, there's 48 kits to make, that's without doing goalkeepers. And then we have things like banners, we only actually have banners for 5 teams currently. So if you are artistically inclined and want to help out then get into the discord channel get in touch and let's see what we can get done on top of that please do like the video and subscribe if you're new around here i do a series of my own based on solihull moors and i've taken those guys at the moment from the national league all the way to the championship and we're going for champions league glory but for now stay safe i'm out of here